Um, welcome to my next video, which is to do with, uh, again, Python logical statements and uh, truth tables. Since my last uh, video, I have made some improvements to this program to make it uh, more user-definable and easier to use. So uh, I've created a simple menu system here. Uh, don't need to go into that in too much detail. Um, got a set of instructions here, and I've got the bit of the program here which evaluates the truth statements. If I show you how it works, it's probably easier. So run them in the program, and it saves my memory. So we'll show the instructions first. Um, what it allows you to do is you can specify how many inputs you want for your truth table. Um, the maximum is five, and it will assign a value of A, B, C, D, or E to uh, each of those inputs. Um, you can then type in a truth statement as you would in uh, Python, and, and it will evaluate that statement and it will output whether or not it's true or false depending on the uh, state of the inputs. Now, there are a few limitations. Uh, obviously, if you reference um, an input that's not been created, so for example, if you've selected three inputs but you refer to D in your logical statements, it will really give you a, an, an error. Um, and um, if it gives you an error, you might want to check your use of parentheses and make sure that they are correct, because it's a little bit uh, funny about those. Um, you can only have five inputs, as I said before, and the app will print the evaluation of the logical statement in the next available column. So if you put only one input, it will show in column B, and if you put two inputs, it will show in column C, and so on. Um, and of course, if the statement cannot be evaluated, it's because your statement's wrong. It's not the problem, not the program, because I've checked it. So we'll return to the menu, and then we'll create a uh, truth table. So I'm going to say I want uh, four inputs, and then it's going to ask me to input the logical statement that I want. So I'll type it in as I would in Python. I'll say I want A and B, not. B, uh, not, uh, sorry, that should be and not, and not C or D. All right, so we should be good to go with that. Just copy and paste it just in case it's not. Okay, there we go. So it uh, generates all of the possible combinations of, of A, B, C, D, and E. Uh, sorry, A, B, C, and D, because there were four inputs. And then in the final column, it will evaluate the uh, logical statement that I've typed in here as either uh, true or false. Okay. So uh, if <laughs> any of you actually wanted to uh, go away and draw a, uh, a diagram showing that uh, logical statement and then check it against my output, um, you'll, you'll just tell me that it's right. Okay, So that's basically how the program works. Like I said, it will work with different numbers of inputs. So you just want uh, two inputs. We can, we can do it for A and B. And off it goes. And it will, obviously, there's only one uh, option there for, for, for true. I'll run it again just to show that two inputs again. Uh, we'll have three inputs this time and we will say A or B and not See, it will convert things to lowercase, so that should still evaluate. There we go. So it will convert your inputs to lowercase for you, and there we go. That works. Um, 
hope you uh, like that program. If you would like to see, if you would like a copy of that program, then I will send you a copy of the program. You just drop me an email or a PM. Um, and I would use this in teaching about truth tables and also teaching students how to write logical statements in Python. I hope you've enjoyed that video. If you've got any comments or suggestions, please drop me an email.